Hey, my name is Jesus Castello for rubyguides.com and in this video you're going to learn about prime numbers in Ruby. So first of all, what's a prime number? Let's review. Prime number is a very simple concept that says that a number must be only divisible by itself and one. So for example, two is only divisible by one and two, right? Then we have three, which is only divisible by one and three. And then we have four, which is divisible by one, by two and by four. So that would not be a prime number. But five is a prime number because only divisible by one and five. So only divisible by one and itself, the number itself. I want to explain to you in this video how to find these prime numbers. Because maybe you're doing some job interview or some kind of coding challenge. And part of the solution involves you having to use prime numbers. And if you're not familiar with this concept, then you won't be able to solve that challenge or that interview question. So let's see how can you calculate prime numbers. One thing you can do is to actually calculate them by hand. Probably if you're doing a coding interview, this, pro this what they want to do, you to do is to do it by hand. So how do you do that? Well, you follow the description. The description says that a number is only divisible by one and itself. So for that, we can infer that we have to check every single number in between, right? If five is prime, have to check if it's divisible by four, three, and two, right? Because these are the numbers that are not itself and one. And the same for any other number. For six, we'll have to check for, we'll have to check for five, four, three, two, right? So that's just a loop. It's a loop where we start from the, from two and up to the number itself. So it will look something like this, um, two to five. Then we check if, and if those is divisible by five. But how do we check divisibility, right? We don't know that yet. Well, there is a way to do that. So before we got, we get into the loop, let's see how we can check for divisibility. How we can know if two numbers are divisible by one another. Well, one way to do it is to use the modulo operator. So for example, if I do five, oh, we have something going on, oh, this. If I do five modulo five, we get zero, meaning it's divisible. If I do five modulo four, we get one, two, one, zero. So, so from this pattern, you can see how if I do this, 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 so we can find how modulo by some number, if it's zero, it means it's divisible. That's our definition of divisibility. It has to be when you divide two numbers, one number by another number, the result has to be zero for it to be exactly divisible by the other number. We don't want decimal, we don't want floats here. We want exact integers. Well, now we can implement this. We can implement this inside. The number will be n. The number we're testing is five. Then we do modulo and then equals equals zero. And then we can do something very nice which is any question mark. So if I run this, 
we see that uh, we have to remove the number itself. It's prime because everything is false. There is no um, numbers that divide five, right? So let me, we can generalize now this, like the following, we can do prime question mark, then n representing the number, then let's return this. And instead of any, since we want to know if it's prime or not, we can reverse the any to none. Okay, and now we can change this to n minus one. And we can change this to, well, that's going to be a little problem because I'm using n here. So let's make this um, the divisor. How about that? And then we can do find question mark five. True. So that works. How about six? It will be false. Correct. How about seven? It will be true. Right? So you get the idea, so will be false, right? No, so nine so also be false. Then so we also I think we got this working correctly, right? It's basically the basic algorithm to find out whether or not a number is prime. We just followed the the description and and we use this little nice loop and this range. Now, is there a better way to do this more effective? Yes. For example, there's an algorithm called the sieve of Aristoteles. The sieve of Aristoteles. That's a more effective algorithm than doing this. But I don't know that algorithm by, by you don't have to you don't have to memorize that algorithm because Ruby already comes with an implementation, a fast implementation of prime number um, checking. And that's done with like this, require prime. And now we can do five prime question mark. We can do six prime question mark, right? Notice is the same results. But now we change the order. We're calling prime, the prime question mark method on the number instead of passing it into some method, right? So that's the prime and it's very fast and, well, uh, it's faster at least than your, this implementation. And there's also other methods inside prime because you're given a prime class. Uh, for example, you can do like first 10. And this gives you the first 10 prime numbers. This can also be very useful. And uh, this comes from this prime standard library. So that's prime numbers and how to find them. If you find this useful and interesting, please give me a like. So I know that you like this video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do it now because that will help you keep improving your Ruby skills. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.